Hi everyone, this is Ray. Welcome to my basement workshop. So first off, uh, I want to thank everyone for subscribing to this channel for the Great Guitar Build-Off 2020 Unofficial Edition. Uh, there have been so many people uh, watching now, I'm going to start working on my production skills. Uh, a lot of people are watching. And the rules for the unofficials just got published. Thanks, Ben. Uh, the good news is I get till October, and I really needed that. Uh, but I will get time to expand the project, and that's good. So today, I'm going to show you the inlay, marquetry work. I'll also show you the colors and materials that I have picked. Uh, won't spend much time on this, but one last thing. I've been seeing the competition. Matter of fact, I've been talking with several of them. Two things to note. First, these guys have a lot of talent. Nice guys. It's a really cool community. If you're joining it now, please, uh, please uh, join with us. It's a lot of fun. And second, I gotta be honest. Now I wanna win this thing. It's getting interesting. So uh, I'm going to give it my best shot. Uh, no trash talk. Everybody else bring your A game. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can get Ben a run for his money. And those guys at Wonder Bread too. All right, on to the bill. So when we last left this, talked about colors. I've selected a blue and black. I am um, to match this guy's body color and type. That'll be the main body of the dragon. What I've used is some trans tint blue and black dyes over the flame maple. This is a prototype of the part. A little bit of clear coat. I think uh, this piece looks really cool and really gets the look I'm going for on that dragon. So I'm happy with that. So now I got to talk about what I'm going to do for the wings and his uh, tail. Well, I have some thin shell veneer, which I can place over top of the stained wood. And that creates a really cool effect. And then for his belly, I like the yellow. I like the yellow and I like the shell. So I'm going to do a little bit of yellow underneath the shell veneer. And here's some early prototypes of what that looks like. So the end effect is actually quite stunning and I'm hoping the they'll be durable and everything else I need them to be that's now for the main body first thing I had to do was transfer the design onto the face of the body for this I used carbon paper when you CC somebody you carbon copy them that is what that's for carbon paper use that to trace it and then I grabbed the each individual piece did a quick trace around each one not too precise but to make sure I got the the piece in the right orientation relative to the others and I didn't have any problems in the 3D world. So that turned out really quite well and I was starting to get excited about it. You know once I got this, post this on Instagram, some of you guys have seen this but it's really very exciting. But I didn't like his tail so I designed a new one for him, something more like his wings. Cut that out of another piece of maple and uh, laid it out. So I'm going to walk through the inlay process very quickly for you. Uh, first you take the knife, cut around the edge. You want to break the first layer at least of the grain. And you take your router and you carefully uh, clear it out. Clear out the inside first and then move to the edge. But to be helpful here, I'm going to go through this a little bit slower and explain how this works in case you haven't done it but there are better versions of this out there already including Ben Crow but this is how it's done when I slow down first thing you do is start with a small Dremel cutting bit about a 1 16th and I'd found this LED light which tucked really nicely into the base and this makes a big difference in being able to see where you're cutting you can get a shadow across the edge it works really well Next step, make sure your parts are nice and smooth in the shape you want them because you're going to be tracing right up against the edge of those and any sort of inconsistencies are going to show up in your routing. Then you take that part and you bring it up to the body 
and you hold it exactly where you want it to be and you trace the edges. It's a 0.7 millimeter mechanical pencil. Gets it about right for me. And then uh, sets you up for a good cut. Next step, use a very sharp knife. I have this nice little Japanese X-Acto type blade. Keep the sharp blades coming. Out, I'm going to run it uh, high speed and let you guys just enjoy the process and uh, tell me what you think. views. You see as I get to the end here, I'm able to get a little bit deeper with each cut and I have better control. And you can see I get right up against that cut edge and you get a nice clean edge when you're done. You get a little splinter that comes over the edge when you get close and that tells you when to slow down a little bit and um, pull carefully along the edge. This works better than I ever thought it could. So. Hope you guys try it out. The method worked pretty well. Uh, there's a lot of other videos out there on that, but uh, see if the, how this works for you. Narration here. Uh, when I got to this point, I wasn't sure what to do, so I decided, you know what, I'm just going to continue the in my work, but I'm going to go 3D with this thing. I am not exactly sure how I'm going to finish this out. I got a couple ideas. I have to bring that up in another video. See here, I've cleaned it out, made a nice 3D across the volume knob area, and that's going to look really cool when I'm done, I'm sure of it. I just don't know how I'm going to do it. Okay, now we come to the end of the show. Completed this thing and it came out really really clean i'm looking forward to the next step and here's the final shot putting it all back together That's it for this week. Uh, thanks for joining me here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you uh, continue to support the great guitar build-off. Special shout out to E.R. Webster, who's been putting out a playlist of all the YouTubers, uh, new guys, the unofficial contestants on the competition. Appreciate it, man. So, uh, Thanks to Crimson, thanks to uh, Texas Toast and the rest of the folks who are putting this together. It's good for the community, and uh, I think we're all having a good time. So, if you like to, give me a like, give me a subscribe. 
I'll continue to put good content out there and we'll be ready for October with this uh, competition. And we'll see how it turns out. Thanks a lot. Be safe.